Hello? Hello, may I speak to Catalin Carrico, please? Speaking. Oh, hello, this is Adam Smith calling from Nobel Prize. Oh, <laughs> yes, Adam, okay, yes. Many congratulations on the award of the Nobel Prize. Thank you, thank you very much. Where are you and how did you hear the news? <laughs> I, I was uh, sleeping <laughs> and actually my husband picked up the phone. I am at my home in... Um, a suburb of uh, Philadelphia in Abington Township, and uh, I, yeah, I just, uh, I was away on a conference in uh, Cold Spring Harbor, and, and just Saturday return. It will be a celebrated 50 years of uh, of um, uh, recombinant DNA technology. I met all of those people that 80s, 90s that <laughs> did the basic work, and I just came back. A lovely gathering. Um, and on hearing the news, I mean, you're, you're no stranger to awards, of course. They've been coming so thick and fast recently. But how, what were your first thoughts on hearing this news? That somebody's just joking. <laughs> <laughs> how were you reassured? <laughs> it is kind of very scientific uh, and uh, was too much information was in it that, you know, somebody would just make it up. But you never know in these days. <laughs> <laughs> now you know for sure. I'm not, when they announce, I'm 100% sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe it'll never sink in. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> apart, from, apart from the doubt and the reassurance, I mean, what, what does it mean to you? Adam, Adam, if, if you know about uh, 10 years ago, I was here in October <laughs> because I was kicked out yeah, yeah. yeah. from yeah. Penn, <laughs> yeah. was forced to retire. And then my husband um, supported me and said that, you know, when I finally visited uh, in Germany and found that maybe BioNTech is the right place, then, you know, he, he said that, you know, just try it, you know, I, I, w I would make sure that you don't regret that, you know, there is, you know, looking back in my life and he, he supported me that I will go and nine years I commuted to BioNTech in Germany. I did all of these experiments actually with my own hands. Mm. I was 58 years old. I was still, you know, culturing uh, plasmids and doing, uh, you know, seeding cells. And so it is, is a very unlikely. I have to say my mother... She passed away in uh, 2018, but my mother listened always the announcement of, uh, you know, who gets the Nobel Prize because she she told me, oh, next next week they they, they were they will announce maybe you will get it. <laughs> you know, I was laughing. I <laughs> there was not even a professor, or no team, or not. and and I told my mom that <laughs> don't 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 listen and. She said, yes, but, you know, you work so hard. And I told her that all scientists work very hard. And so, <laughs> How wonderful to have someone who believes in you to such an extent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they believed. And, uh, you know, my daughter is, of course, you know, she watched me to work hard and she became, you know, two times Olympic champion. Um, w Olympic champion in what? Uh, rowing. And she is five times world champion. And... Uh, you know, I went to this, uh, she was inducted in Hall of Fame, she was rowing here and there, and I always introduced, like, she's Susan's mom, I was Susan's mom, <laughs> and now that my daughter came several times in the award ceremony with me, and uh, she was introduced, Cutty's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I must say, for me, it's a great delight to be talking to Susan's mum on this call. <laughs> it's lovely. But it, I, I suppose the message of all this is that persistence can pay off uh, in the end. It's, um, yeah. yeah, the persevere, and, and I believe that the first 14 years of your life, your genes, your parents, uh, your teachers, your friends, they shape you the person who mm. you you are, you will be and i also you know as a woman and, and a mother you know i try to tell fellow uh, female scientists that you don't have to choose between having a family you you can have it you just don't have to over 
you know, assist your child. Just your child will watch you and then they will do because that's what counts, you know, that the example what you mm. present. Uh, when I was 16 years old, I, I read the book um, uh, from Hans Scheye. Hans Scheye is a Canadian scientist, but he was Hungarian, so his book was translated to Hungarian. And he, his mantra was that um, you have to focus on things what you can change. Uh, many young one is giving up because they can see that some of their friends or you know colleagues they're you know advancing, and it seems that they do less and somehow, you know, they get higher salary and promoted. I told that if you notice that and you already took away your attention, what you can change because you cannot change that. And, and I told that also that when I was terminated, I don't, don't spend time feeling sorry for you and, you know, saying things. Why me? You have to all your um, energy you have to spend to, to seek out what next. What I can do. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Um, let me just ask you very briefly about your working relationship with Drew Weissman. Uh, you strike me as very different characters. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, you know, like um, I brag, I, you know, <laughs> more talkative. And, but when you would see us uh, look at the data, we cut each other words and to, 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 to what we, what it means, you know, we just uh, <laughs> were very alive. And about the experiments, yet it was, um, we were very similar. But uh, yes, once Drew showed me that, you know, Kati, from A to B, you know, you are zigzag, 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 zigzag. And I am just like straight. <laughs> <laughs> But I told him when I zigzag, I learned so much in zigzag. <laughs> Indeed, zigzagging seems to have been very productive. Yes. Um, it's been so lovely to have this relaxed conversation. I, I'm, af I'm afraid that it's so early in the morning, but your day is just going to get busier and busier from this point on. Good luck with it all, and thank you thank very, you very much, much indeed. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. If you enjoyed hearing this call, don't miss our bonus episode, where Adam Smith takes a turn as guest, and we go behind the scenes from these very special moments. Find it on Acast, or wherever you listen to podcasts.